I was watching Wayne Cody's uh, clip there about uh, these professors in uh, St. Mary's uh, College back there in Nova Scotia and he told me about uh, other instances of uh, professors in other colleges, the Dalhousie, University of Dalhousie and that. These people are being funded by the public to do studies on ways to help the WCB outfits all across this country screw injured workers with more proficiency. They do not need any help to do this, but they're getting help anyways. And I just think, you know, we're being screwed by the police because they'll they'll call on injured workers if they feel threatened. Uh, we're screwed by the professors who work at the universities. We're screwed by the doctors. We're screwed by the lawyers. We're screwed by everybody, and these people are all feeding at the public trough. Uh, and it's just pathetic. I don't think university pr professors should be involving themselves in the workers, injured workers issues, or if they do, they should be, be uh, uh, look at both sides of it and actually uh, come out on, uh, in fra favor of the injured workers. Because as we all know, the injured workers have no rights in this country with their help. And we're kind of tired of seeing this. And another thing I'm getting really sick of is getting the emails out of this Pete Clare character at the IAWWC site. This site advertises for WCB, these uh, phony WCB advocates that used to be uh, uh, workers' compensation uh, representatives. And his site advertises for these people in the WCB. And now he claims he's got nothing to do with it. Well, yeah, you can, you don't need to have those people on those sites. You're probably making money off it, Mr. Clare. It wouldn't surprise me if it was that was the case. And that's all fine and good. I don't care about your advertising on your goddamn site, but I don't want my stuff on your site, and I don't want to be contacted by you. And I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I've emailed you. I've told you in YouTubes. Wayne Cody's told you, and now he's going to be asking Ning to take him off your any of his stuff off your site. We're sick of you, Mr. Clare. You're nothing but a parasite. You can't come up with an idea on your own. You steal everybody else's idea and, and you put it up on your site. I see there that you've kicked uh, Fred Palmer's blog off because he had something up about this Australian insurance uh, office uh, deal. And you said he was promoting violence. Well, uh, you know something? Why do you let people into your sites if you don't want them to put up what they want to put up? All use people, all use union people like to sanction people. You get them on your site, they're not allowed to tell their stories the way they want to tell them, and you put what you want up. Well, you don't put what you want up because you don't have any ideas, Mr. Clare. It's quite apparent about that. And, and, and as for these people that are following you, they're every bit as bad. Because if they can't see through what you're doing, they're just as bad as you. We're out here trying to help injured workers, and all you're doing is, is stealing our ideas every time you see, seem to like one of them. Well, we're bloody well sick of it. It's about time you got an idea of your own. Uh, and and again, I'm reiterating, I don't want any more emails from you. I want my stuff. I don't want one story of mine up on your site or on that Ning.com. Do you understand, Mr. Co uh, Claire? I don't want any recognition out of you. I could care less about your opinion of me or what I'm doing. And that goes for your group. I mean, it's quite apparent. 90% of them didn't sign the petition. They signed your garbage, but they wouldn't sign mine. So it, it just shows me what, what they are, and I want no part of them. 
And Fred Palmer, I feel sorry for him because he'd become involved with you, figuring that maybe you were a good avenue to get his story out. But Fred was obviously wrong. Now, I, I, could, I feel sorry for the gentleman there and, and, uh, our, and the people that were injured in, in, in this Australian deal. But it's quite apparent if the, if the insurance company wasn't screwing around the guy, this wouldn't have happened. It's just another clear-cut case of the big guy screwing the little guy, and the little guy decides one day that he's had enough. The same thing happened with Patrick Clayton in Edmonton. But people like you don't like that, do you, Mr. Clare? Because you're masters, and I use the word masters because that's what you are. You're a union lackey. They don't want the real story out there. They want the appearance of helping without the actual helping. Well, we're tired of it. We want something done. We want some action, and we're going to get her done. I don't want violence. That doesn't mean somebody else doesn't want violence. I can't control what somebody else does. Not just like Fred Palmer can't. And he might get a little off off uh, touch sometimes but I'm quite sure he's had a hard time over the years because of his uh, brain injury and not getting any help out of this, this, these stinking governments well maybe it's time they started thinking about what they're doing and and the after effect effects of what they're causing instead of running to universities and saying oh Let's get a, a study done on safety so we can use it against injured workers and workers. There's lots of safety out there. I got one in my submission to the Human Rights uh, Commission. A CSO level 3 first aider. And they done everything to him. They even destroyed his career. Because he wouldn't kiss their arse. Well, we're tired of this. Now we're going to start going around to job sites and taking photos with photo telescopic lenses. And these are going to wind up on the internet with the company names. We're getting tired of the bullshit. They don't train the kids properly to work on their sites. And then when they put them in harm's way because it's financially good for the company. And the kid gets hurt, then they deny the claim. And then they blacklist people. Well, we're tired of it. Now we're going to start blacklisting the companies. It's time we put the shoe on the other foot. And it's going to happen. Because we're going to keep going after the government until they get so sick of us, they're going to start doing something about it. Regardless of people like Mr. Clare. And like I said, Mr. Clare, I don't want any of my stuff on, on your site. I don't want anything to do with you. You barred me off this, off your site. That was fine by me, because I knew that you were nothing but a friggin' uh, talking headpiece for the the unions. So get get over yourself, Mister Clare. Try writing something on your own without stealing it off some, one of your uh, people that are on your site or off somebody else who isn't on your site. Try doing something like that. If if, if you're entirely possible are capable of doing it. I don't imagine that you are. And neither is your counterpart, Daryl Powell. He's every bit as bad. He writes his, his submissions on cigarette packages, but he can't afford to buy paper. <laughs> Hysterical. Anyways, that's the end of this one. <laughs>